What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode and today we're going to talk about the top five accessories for your CO2 system to kind of up your game a little bit. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, I will show you guys one of my favorite tools that I use. It's kind of CO2 related, but you'll see. You'll see. Just watch to the end. To me, this is a pretty obvious choice, which is a bubble counter. They come in different shapes, sizes, colors, and I mean, there's a whole bunch. Literally, if you look up bubble counter on Amazon, you'll get tons of options. In order to set this up, fill it with water, regulator, O-ring, pop this on, CO2 tube, close it off, turn it on, ready to go. The reason I like these is if you start your tank at one bubble per second and you realize hey the plants are kind of like lacking you want to bump it up to two bubbles then you want to bump it up to three bubbles versus not having this product you're basically just guessing maybe you're counting the fine bubbles coming out of the diffuser which would be kind of crazy but if you could do that hey power to you. This is a CO2 splitter. Now for those of you guys, which I pretty much think all of you guys are watching, that have multiple tank syndrome, this is a great way to kind of save money so you don't have to buy multiple tanks. You could just buy one big tank, like a 510 or a 20 pounder, and split that one CO2 tank between all of the tanks that you currently have. Now I opted for a dual splitter. They also come in threes, fours, sixes, eights, like there's tons of options. So if you look up CO2 splitter online, you'll find a ton of these. This is super easy to install. You literally just screw it on, take that off, pop the CO2 line in there, close it off, and do it for the same thing on the other side and you're ready to go. So with these CO2 splitters, they also have individual knobs for you to control each one of these CO2 tubing outlets, thingamajig that's going to each one of your tanks. These dual splitters will give you a bit of a hard time in terms of the accuracy of how much CO2 you're pumping into your tank. So that's why it's good to have that along with your bubble counter to kind of gauge the right amount of CO2 that you want for each one of the tanks. You kind of have to monitor it properly over time, keep things clean, keep up with maintenance, but overall, I think it'll be okay. U-shaped connector. What I use these for is my CO2 line that's coming out of the regulator and going into the tank. It's kind of annoying. It's aesthetically not pleasing. It looks kind of messy. That's where this comes in. You install it, you fix that mess on top of your tank. Looks much cleaner. That's pretty much it. For this, they come in glass and metal. The reason I opted for metal is because previously, I've had a glass one. Did it look better? Yeah, it looked better. It broke down. The U-shaped connectors, great for tidying up the CO2 line. It is a diffuser that's made of acrylic and on top of it, it is, I don't know, this is like some type of stone. It's super light and it's super fine. So the bubbles you get out of this is super, super fine. And the other thing is, this doubles as a bubble counter. So if you have this, you no longer need a bubble counter because this does the job for you. And did I say it was acrylic? Yeah, acrylic, better than glass. The other beauty about this is, it is actually very, very easy to clean. I use a magic eraser and just go at it. So easy to clean, durable, and also doubles as a bubble counter. I love this, you should get this. Now, any particular brands, I like the Twin Star one. They also have Aqua Rio. I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of bootlegs on Alibaba or somewhere on eBay. The reason this is number one is because I don't really know. This is a drop checker. Some of you new guys and ladies coming in the plant and aquarium world are wondering what the hell is a drop checker? Well, drop checker basically checks the amount of CO2 that is in your tank. I wish I could explain this a little bit more for you guys, but I'm not that smart of a person. All I know is when it's green, it's good. When it's blue, you need more CO2. And when it's yellow, too much CO2. Instead of being like a normal drop checker where it is very unsightly and is in your tank taking up valuable space, especially for nano tanks, 
This actually goes outside. Half of it is in the tank, the other half is outside of the tank. It basically beautifies the tank. Now, these come in two styles that at least I found. One is the J type, the other one is the drop type. Are these better than the regular drop checkers? I mean, performance wise, it's pretty much the same thing, but these are better in terms of making your planted aquarium more aesthetically pleasing. Now lastly is these syringes. No, I'm not a crackhead. Now these syringes, they come in multiple sizes. For me personally, I have a 10 milliliter, I have a three milliliter, and lastly, I have a one milliliter. Now the usage case for these are multiple. There's so many uses for these. One is you can use these to kind of fill up the drop checkers with water. Another use for this is you can more accurately dose your first, like you want 3.2 milliliters. This could do that for you. If you want a 0.5 or 0.7 milliliter, these syringes could do that for you. The other thing I use it for is when I do water testing, the little glass tubes, they take about five milliliters, so I just simply use one of my syringes you know, suck up five milliliters worth and boom, I pump that into the tube and I'm ready to go. A lot of people use pipe pets, but for me, these are absolutely more accurate. And like every day I find more uses for these. I use these to treat blackberry algae or staghorn and any type of algae that's in my tank that's unwanted. Hydrogen peroxide or using Excel. Suck it up however much you want, go into the tank and that's pretty much it. So, so useful, so versatile. If you do appreciate product videos like these, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and share this with a friend. And remember, the world is your aquascape. <laughs> Get it, the world is your oyster, the world is your aquascape. All right. <laughs>